lot these days about alopecia areata now if i talk about in layman language this is nothing but loss of hair presence of patchiness in some areas of your body or even baldness now this is an autoimmune condition which is as i mentioned characterized by rapid hair loss in the scalp eyebrows and even eyelashes for which the treatments are very limited it occurs when the immune system attacks the hair follicles and may be brought on by severe stress in most people new hair eventually grows back in the affected areas although this process can take even months now approximately 50% of the people with mild alopecia areata recover within the first year however most people will experience more than one episode during their lifetime Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club your daily dose of health and medical news I am Dr Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about two phase 3 trials of baritacinib for alopecia areata In a recent trial published in the NEJM that is the New England Journal of Medicine the researchers assessed if baritacinib which is an oral selective reversible inhibitor of genus Kinesis 1 and 2 may interrupt the cytokine signaling implicated in the pathogenesis of alopecia areata now the researchers they conducted two randomized placebo controlled phase 3 trials that they named as brave aa1 and the brave aa2 trials all these trials involving adults with severe alopecia areata with a severity of alopecia tool score of 50 or even higher the score ranging from 0 which said no scalp hair loss to 100 which said complete scalp hair loss the patients were randomly assigned in a 3 is to 2 is to 2 ratio to receive once daily baritacinib at a dose of 4 mg baritacinib at a dose of 2 mg or the placebo group the primary outcome was a salt score of 20 or less at the week 36 They enrolled close to 654 patients in the first trial that was the Brave AA1 trial and 546 patients in the Brave AA2 trial. The researchers then concluded based on the findings of these two trials that in both these phase 2 trials involving patients with severe alopecia areata, oral baritacinib was superior to placebo with respect to hair regrowth at 36 weeks. However there is still a hole in the assessment of the efficacy and safety of baritacinib for alopecia areata hence more research is definitely needed That's all for today stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon